Good morning, folks. Just before we get started, I just want you to know that this is my Bible and I never say a word from it. And when I actually do say something from it, I twist it to make it say what I want to say. After all, I'm working for the man downstairs if you catch my vibe. If you're looking for a mega church, folks, look no further. Lakewood Church is where it's at. It is one of the best mega churches in the world. Top-notch sound and top-notch entertainment during our worship experience. My mega church is the best church you will attend. Aside from the fact that we closed our doors to the Hurricane Harvey people, I'd say we're pretty good. Listen, folks, if it's good enough for God, it ought to be good enough for you. Besides, we donate millions of dollars to charities around the world. That should be enough to keep those critics off my back. Here at Lakewood, we're a hub for your favorite mega-rich celebrities. From Kanye West and Kim Kardashian to Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry, I mean, the list goes on. We are all about the status, the fame, and the Benjamins. If you're looking for your best life now, this is the mega church for you. If you're looking for success, promotion, how to win big on Wall Street and the stock market, Lakewood is just right for you. We are all about everything that is not the gospel. In fact, you won't even hear the word gospel mentioned in my talks. Every now and then, we show our faces in BLM protests and make sure our pictures are captured and check off our PR box as we march on to dismantle systemic racism in America. Since we're on the subject, I just want to apologize for being a white male and also for all the inequality in the world. We at Lakewood Church care a lot about diversity, equity, and inclusion. No one in their right mind would be dumb enough to turn down membership to our church. Except for those who truly want to live a godly life and go to heaven. Those people are idiots anyway. Here at Lakewood Church, we welcome everyone. I mean everyone, straight people, gay people, trans people, gender fluid people, two-spirit penguins. You name it and our doors are opened. Here at Lakewood, we are not against anybody. We are for everybody. After all, we need everyone's money. That reminds me, if you happen to find bags of money stashed between the walls of our church, it is important for you to return that money to us. Before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my beautiful wife, Victoria Osteen. If you think I'm bad, wait till she gets on stage and start talking. You don't know what cunning is until that woman opens her mouth and starts talking for quote unquote God. I am so proud of her. We are truly partners in crime, and I mean that. Anyway, Victoria and I are often criticized for being soft on the Bible when we're being interviewed. I just think that people just demand too much from us. Why can't we just lie and go about our business? And I'm going to be honest with you. If I came across some of the videos they made about how cunning I am, I wouldn't even attend this church. You know, when you're in the mega church business, you will encounter many haters. People who are probably sad that they don't live in a $10.5 million mansion like I do. But guess what, folks? I am not going to apologize for my lavish lifestyle. I am not. That's the mega life of a mega church pastor like myself. Don't hate because I'm living up to my potential. I spoke this life into existence and I'm sure you can too. But remember folks, what your goal is when you join my mega church, you're not like those idiots who always want to talk about some guy that died 2,000 years ago on the cross. How is that relevant to your success? How is that going to help you get to the next level? How is that going to grow your business? I don't know, but I don't think that's going to get you to your dreams. If there's one thing I know, Victoria and I didn't get this filthy rich by talking about the gospel of Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection of a savior. I didn't get where I am today by warning people of the return of Jesus Christ and the imminent judgment of God to come. Those things are just bad for business folks. Plus, I don't want you to get sidetracked by any of that. And I, for one, would never want you to leave my church by talking about those antisocial subjects. Let's leave that stuff for the likes of John MacArthur, Vadi Balcom, and that other one, Paul Washer. Those guys and their churches are always talking about boring stuff like doctrines and gospel clarity. That stuff is old school. You don't want that stuff. Thank goodness we're not like them. We focus on the important stuff. You, you are my focus, your needs, your interests, your joy, your happiness is what drives me. Just do me a favor, folks. Whatever you do, simply do not let the naysayers and the party poopers get in the way of your best life now. I mean, if you truly want your best life now, Lakewood Church is the church. And last but not least, remember, this is my Bible, and I never teach a word from it. I have what it says I have, a lying tongue and a deceptive spirit. That I can do what it says I can do. That is leading millions of people astray. Today, just like the other days, and the days to come. I will always be the same lying Joe from the biggest mega church in America. God bless you.
So when I asked AI to make me a Joel Osteen megachurch commercial, I was not expecting the results to be what you just watched and heard. The commercial contains some of the most shocking truths about megachurches, celebrity pastors, and the lifestyle they live. I mean, the honesty in that video truly caught me by surprise. On a separate note though, what you heard in that commercial is the undergirding principle of the American gospel. A gospel where you get what you need and what you want from a God you make in your own image. It's a Christless gospel devoid of sin and repentance. Do you feel like you're cheating people by not telling them about the hell part? The no, because, part? No, I really don't because it's a different approach. You know, it's not hellfire and brimstone. He's a liar because Jesus spoke on hell more than absolutely everybody else put together. I say most people are beaten down enough by life. They already feel guilty enough. They're not doing what they should do, raising their kids. or the, You know, we can all find reasons. So I want them to come to Lakewood or our, our meetings and be lifted up. No, 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 no. That's not what people need. They can have that if it's gravy. But first they need to know who he is, period, full stop. And then they need to know what he's done, period, full stop. If you know who he is and you know what he's done, period, full stop, then we have time for a conversation about my own personal experience of it, we can get to that. But the last thing you need is just my personal experience of whatever. I want him to come to Lakewood or our, our meetings and be lifted up to say, you know what, I may not be perfect, but I'm moving forward. I'm doing better and I think that motivates you to do better. Is getting your best life now really what's important? Wouldn't it be better to rot in a prison for all the 80 years of your life and be saved from hell rather than to get your best life now and perish? It is absolutely better, Brother Paul, and that's the reason why Jesus says, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? That's the reason why we preach the gospel and warn sinners about hell. After all, it was Joel Osteen who once said that 99% of people are good people. 99.9% .9 of people are not bad people. They may make poor choices, but deep down, they've got a good heart. Joel Osteen says that one thing he can assure us is that 99.9% .9 of people are not bad people. Well, what does the Bible have to say about this? Apostle Paul seems to think differently. He says, there is none righteous, not even one. There is none who does good. No, not one. Friends, 99.9% .9 of people are not good people. 100% of people are bad people. You're a bad person. I'm a bad person. And unfortunately, most churches in America today are driven by the exact same things you just heard in that commercial. Relevance, fame, status, and money. And we often wonder why this nation is so confused about everything. Charles Spurgeon once said, A time will come when instead of shepherds feeding the sheep, the church will have clowns entertaining the goats. And that time has come in America decades ago. And now we're reaping the bitter and catastrophic fruits of it. If you're a pastor teacher, I would simply direct you to what Jesus said to Peter in John 21 17. Feed my sheep. Do not entertain them. Do not tickle their ears. Instead, feed them the church true word of the living God. You may not have a big church in size and membership, but those people that you have, make sure that they are being fed the word of God. Make sure that you as a shepherd is being faithful to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Many will hear on the judgment day, depart from me, I never knew you, you workers of lawlessness. But the faithful shepherds will hear good and faithful servants. Now the question is, which one are you? A waltz in sheep's clothing? A faithful shepherd feeding the word of God to the people of God. This is it for this video and let me know what you guys think of the commercial. Until next time, your brother John Henry with the Gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm.